Did you know cinder cones are the simplest and most common type of volcanoes? Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Science Query. I am a host Dr. Asha and in this video I am going to talk about cinder cone volcano. So what exactly a cinder cone? Cinder cone volcanoes are simple cone shaped volcanoes formed from solidified lava fragments called cinders or scoria ejected during eruption. Scoria or cinder is a pyroclastics that is highly vascular dark color volcanic rock formed by ejection from a volcano as a molten blob and cooled in the air. Therefore cinder cone volcanoes are also known as scoria cone volcanoes. They are the most widespread and smallest type of volcanoes with a bowl shaped crater at the top and on the sides. Now let us see some of the characteristics of cinder cone volcano. They have gentle slopes and the summit is cone shaped. They are symmetrical in shape. They have a height of 300 to 1200 feet which is low compared to other volcanoes. Cinder cone volcanoes are made up of igneous rocks. They have one opening or vent from which the lava flows out. Cinder cone volcanoes build up over month or even years. Now let us see the stages of a cinder cone volcano. The formation of cinder cones is initiated due to the accumulation of finer particles around volcanic vent in the form of tiny mound. The size of the cone gradually increases due to the continuous accumulation of volcanic materials minus lava. They are formed stepwise. An explosive eruption from gas rapidly expands and escapes from the molten lava. The cone forms due to the cinders falling back into the cone. Then a final explosion takes place, leaving a funnel shaped crater on the top of the cone. Lastly, molten magma and rocks pour out of the surface and lava flows down the slope. Lava doesn't generally flow from the top of the cinder. Instead, it comes out from the side vents. Cinder cone volcanoes are on average less susceptible to erosion and hence they maintain their original form for hundreds of years. There are mainly two types of lava eruption in cinder cone volcanoes. They are basaltic lava and andesitic lava. Basaltic lava. It has low viscosity because of low silica content. Their dark color basalt rich in iron and magnesium. Basaltic lava flows quickly and easily. Basaltic lava allows volcanic gases to escape without generating an enormous eruption. Basaltic lavas are thin and very fluid when they erupt. The temperature of basaltic lava is 1832 to 2282 degrees Fahrenheit. Andesitic lava. The temperature of andesitic lava is 1742 to 2192 degrees Fahrenheit. Also known as acidic lava, they are highly viscous with a high melting point. They flow slowly and generally travel a shorter distance before solidifying because of high percentage of silica. They are light colored, have low density. They cause huge explosion and are destructive in nature. Some of the well known cinder cone volcanoes are Amboy Crater, California, Cinder Cone and Fantastic Lava Bed, California, Kerfiaz Volcano and Crater, Iceland, and Mount Bromo Volcano of East Java, Surabaya, Indonesia. Well, that is all about Cinder Cone Volcano and about nature and description and how they form. If you like my video, then please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and share my channel Science Query. Thank you.